Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for everyday racism now. You know racism is not always blatant in your face like it like it used to be back in the days. We're talking about subtle racism. We got T.I. here who's going to help us out with some everyday racism. What up, Tip? What's happening? What's happening? Tip, for example, let me tell you what happened to me the other day. Okay. I went to a department store with me and my lady, and some guy, I could tell he spotted me, so I was seeing if I could get away from him before it got crazy, and he starts yelling out, Yo, Rosenberg! I wasn't there. No. Yo, Rosenberg. So she goes, are you going to turn around? I go, is my name Rosenberg? She goes, okay. He goes, yo, Rosenberg. Cheap Jew. Mm. I was like. See, but like, that's direct. That's going direct. But I'm not Jewish. So it, didn't, it wasn't direct to me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you going to let him say that about you? I, so he called me. I went right down to the department. <laughs> I said, and I said, no, I'm not here to beat him up. I actually heard there was a sale. <laughs> <laughs> So what, uh, it could be more story? subtle also, but anything ever happen where people just I mean, do something, you go, was that right? Was that racist? I mean, you live in Atlanta, so it must yeah, happen. Hey, 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 yo, we don't have that shit. Down. I mean, excuse me. What's all right? We don't play that down now. Oh. Not in Atlanta, not in the city now. If you okay. go to Macon or, you know what I'm saying, right. Columbus or somewhere, or, you know, but in Atlanta, we don't have that. You stop it. Yeah. Like, you don't ever walk into a store, you know, trying to buy some a nice pair of shoes and someone runs up and they're like, no, no, sir, we don't have Air Jordans here. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> They're trying to show me everything with a price tag on it, you know. But now, nah, like real talk though, uh, I think the only, uh, the, the the most racism that I've ever experienced in my life happened when I was in prison because I was in Arkansas, mm. you know. And that, what about them? Yeah, that's, that's whew, I'm talking about. They racist, like you know, just without even trying to be, and. I think that just the one thing that, that really pops out in my head is when I was, I was we were working out. And in prison, when you work out, you have a time that you work out with, a crew that you work out with. And so our time was, I think it was one o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we come out and then, you know, it's different crews that have one o'clock. And there's one radio that, you know, everybody uses, that everybody <laughs> listens to. Okay, so we come, we attempt to get the radio. And so, you know, at the time, it was a, it was a white guard. And so, you know, so we go and we try and get the radio to work out. And, you know, of course, we playing Young G's and Yo Gotti and we playing nice. rap music. So we say we need the radio so we work so we can work out. He say, no, 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 because y'all play your music too loud. <laughs> oh, oh, OK, OK. So about 15 minutes later, we start our workout, whatever. Then we just hear country music <laughs> blasting. <laughs> from the other side of the workout area. And it's, you know what I'm saying, it's the white guys working out. And I look at us, I, I look at the CEO, I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> Word? That's <laughs> In racist. In my face? <laughs> like, so we play our music too loud. And mind you, their music was blast. He gave them an extra speaker and everything. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, sorry, I'm just a Toby Keith fan. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's, you know what I'm saying, that's probably one of the most blatant, you know, in my face, displays of racism. That will do it. That, yeah. that is uh, pretty standard racism. <laughs> it's a damn shame. It's the main reason I didn't go to jail. Didn't want to fight about the radio. Just didn't want to fight about <laughs> the radio. Would you go, who do Jews hang out with in jail? Oh, the Jewish gang. Oh, the Jews. Is there a Jewish gang? Yeah, yeah. it's the people who committed like tax fraud. Pretty much. You know, oh, the white collar crimes. Yeah. Yeah. Racket Racketeer. Hmm. Racketeer. Racketeering. Racketeering. Embezzlement. All right, well, hold on. <laughs> Everyday racism. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's the whole life, Tip. 